Hey everyone, it's iTalkApple. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a new feature or two new features in macOS 10.7 Lion, Apple's latest operating system. They are mission control and full screen apps. I'll be making a few videos like this, so look forward to those. Um, let's go into system preferences so I can show you the mission control preference pane. If you don't have a trackpad or a magic trackpad, I recommend setting up keyboard shortcuts for mission control here, along with other features like application windows, show desktop, show dashboard, all that. You can also still set up hot corners. If you don't know what they are, um, I'll just give you an example. I can make it so when I move my cursor to the top left, launch pad opens. It's actually a um, really useful feature. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, Mission Control is a combination of expose and spaces, and I think that it's implemented really well. Uh, there's different ways to launch it. You can launch the application from the Applications folder, you can put it in your dock, but my favorite way is with the gesture on your trackpad. All it is is a three finger vertical swipe, like this, and obviously you can't really see what the point is because I have nothing on my desktop right now. And I'll open up a bunch of windows so I can show you how it's useful. Okay, so now if I go into Mission Control, you'll see the windows are grouped by application. So I've got two Finder windows open and they're grouped. I've got a Mail window over there, Twitterific. Um, and this is Mission Control. You see all your windows and at the top you can see all of your desktop spaces. I only have one space right now, but you can add one easily just by going to the right and clicking this plus button. And so that's desktop two. If you want to delete it, I can hover over it for a second and you'll see this little X appear. So it's easy to delete desktops as well. So I can move mail to desktop two along with Twitterific because these are my social applications, I guess. And here I am back in desktop one. I've got iCount and a couple of finder windows open. So if I want to switch between my desktop spaces now, all I need are three fingers and just do a horizontal swipe on the trackpad. So I can swipe between these two spaces and I can go all the way to the left for dashboard. So that's um, mission control, really simple. Um, another thing is application expose still exists. So I've got three finder windows open now. And let's go to pictures in this one. Let's go to documents in this one. So now if I swipe down with three fingers, pretty much the opposite of mission control, you'll see all of my finder windows so whatever application is the active application, it shows all the windows from there. So let's open up Safari and I'll open another window and we'll go to Tumblr. Now if I swipe down, you'll see I've got the two Safari windows. Okay, so the next feature I wanted to show you in this video is full screen applications. Um, I'll just demo it with iCal. In most, well, in Apple applications, it works and in applications that are updated for Lion, it also works, but definitely most applications do not have this feature yet. Um, you just click the button at the top right, the little arrows, and you're brought into full screen. And this is really intense full screen because you cannot see anything else. You can't see the menu bar, you can't access your dock or anything. So. It's useful. It's more useful in some applications than others. For example, I like it in iPhoto, but in iCal, it doesn't really do much for me. So this is full screen mode. Now, if I go back into Mission Control, you'll notice that iCal is now in its own space. It used to be in Desktop 1. Now Desktop 1 is empty. So that's how it works. I can easily slide between my desktops like so and let's go back to desktop two. I can make mail full screen. And this is really useful if you have a um, MacBook 
any computer with a small screen because it's really easy and it's quick to swipe between your full screen windows and all your spaces. Because on an iMac, I don't think full screen's that big of a deal because I have plenty of room to have lots of windows open. When you're on an 11 inch MacBook Air, this feature will come in handy. So we can close full screen by going to the top, the menu bar will reappear and you can click that icon. I really do like it. I think that it's implemented well. The transitions are really nice. It's really fast. And overall, I definitely like it better than Expose. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, more line videos are coming soon. And I'm also going to be doing a Q&A video. I've asked people to ask me questions on Twitter, but if you want, you can ask me questions on this video and maybe I'll get to them in another Q&A video. Um, so yeah, that's it. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash italkapple and look forward to a bunch more videos.